Good morning, everybody. Uh, my voice is kind of shot. Um, been dealing with some kind of sickness uh, lately. A lot of sniffly, congested crap going on. So, um, if I mute the mic a lot in these next couple of gameplays, that is the reason why. So, right off the bat, I'm going to show you something here. I adjusted my depth chart. Um, so what I did is I'm switching up our CBs a little bit. We have so much room to play around. I got Tyreek Woolen and Kobe Bryant starting uh, instead of Sauce Gardner and Sidney Jones. Just give them a break, you know, but these guys are power power players. It's going to be an easy, easy win. We all know that. So here we go. Let's get into the game. Get these bucks out of here, right? Let's do it. championship and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Seattle it's the Buccaneers and the Seahawks on Sunday night it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports coming up it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl and we've got a classic in store between the two Man, what a crappy game. Got to play in the rain. Wow, and guess what, guys? We are going against the Raiders in the Super Bowl. 37-31, to 31, man. Thank God. A new team. Raiders kind of came out of the woodwork. Yes, he does, Metcalf. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. There we go. They drop to throw. Get in there, baby. I can't wait to see Tyroof Woolen and Kobe Bryant see if they can muster in this game. Jake Camarda is out 
That's taken on the 25. Here we go. DK Metcalf, 65 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on the new one. I just want to get into the Super Bowl with Bryce Young. Let's do it. Up by two, two touchdowns. What do you got, Taylor Murphy? What do you got? That's a good. Nice cut. Nice catch. Really? That's what he had to do? Okay. All right. Can't believe that the Raiders are going to be in here today. The seat in the Super Bowl. My eye is all sorts of itchy. So hard to see. Oh, look at this. Gone. The G O N E gone. Job. So how about this for a start? Twenty one nothing here in the first as they kick this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Here's Heineke. Throw it. Come on, throw it. Or we'll give us a sack. That's fine. Works for me. Trying to make it to where Heineke can throw the ball, but so far, I mean, he's throwing it, but it's not like where I want him to. Three sacks. Oh, Ryan Jensen is out for them. Not good at all. One of the key players. Oh, yes. Yes, Wolling. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Well done. I want to change this number. We're going to redo the Legion of Boom, baby. He's such a big... He's like Richard Sherman, honestly. 
He is a converted wide receiver. We're going to go for it. We're going for it. I'm just going to fucking go for it. Oh, man, it would have been nice. I should have thrown it a lot sooner. How come Fant was so slow? Um, but Tyreek Wolling, is a, he was a wide receiver. So he knows the routes. He knows how to do all those things. He knows what to, to look for. And now he's a converted CB, and he's 6'3". And he's like, what, 200 pounds? Like, this dude is solid. So good job on the Seahawks organization getting someone like him. And then we got Kobe Bryant, bro. Hell yeah. There we go. Second and 12. Like I said, I'm really trying to make it so he can throw the ball. I'm not trying to do as many blitzes, but... Oh, shit. Another fact I knew about Nuosu, or in he's only 25 years old. So we have him for at least another couple of years. Oh, shit. Oh, I could have had that, and I fucked it up. That's it, they got a first down. We're going to do a blitz here. Damn, two sacks for Shelby Harris. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. We gotta stop giving them the ball. Our defensive line is too good. Go, baby. I'm, I'm literally chucking it once, maybe occasionally twice, to Metcalf, and it's it's done. Already, Metcalf has probably 250 yards, maybe 220. Could have more. I, I just don't know. I'm not even paying attention to, to the stat board right below the uh, scoreboard there. Nicely done, we'll see. What the fuck? I don't know how he caught that, but I will take it, man. So that's two picks. Uh, two pick sixes, I believe. Let's 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 41 to zip. Two for seven, 27 yards and two interceptions. Right. Yeah, I'm surprised that they have what it was 14 and three or something like that. It's a good record for, for what they have right now. Basically the same pieces, but just no Tom Brady. Targeting two tight ends so far. Fuck. What's his name? Oh, can the way to wait it on? Nicely done, Jordan Brooks. Everybody's getting a sack. You get a sack. You get a sack. You get a sack. There it is. Both CBs that I put in the game to start. Have interceptions now. I think that was a good choice to put my boys in there. Oh, man. Alright, Metcalf, let's try to make this into a touchdown if we can. Look at my line, though, man. Like all this space. Uh, close enough. Open. Nobody there. Forty-eight to zip. We're just balling out and going out. Let's make this boy run. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. But they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position. Uh, is there a win? There must have been win because that. All right, I don't know how that's uh, how that did that, but okay. Two interceptions to Kobe Bryant. Damn Heineke. <laughs> He's got some some hustle in his steps. Excited, maybe because I'm just not feeling well. But I'm usually more excited for these games, you know what I mean? Like the playoff games, the championship game, and the Super Bowl. But I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Some pressure on the defense. 
Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. Is that? Ah. I was going to say, that was a close call. Getting to the close of the uh, second quarter or the second half. Hopefully they've got some rest. Because uh, they got a long way to go. If he gets an any award, it should be him. Five interceptions in the game, guys. Five. I'll tell you what, Heineke really isn't that good. Like, he's alright. Like, he can hold his ground, but he's not that good. That's horrible. That's my bad. <laughs> trouble there on the kickoff as that goes out of bounds. We 
kick out of bounds. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're Automatic both thinking the same down. thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Up the gun, Fournette. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Heineke. Oof. Damn. Come on, buddy. Oh man, Warren. You almost had it, buddy. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13 yard line here. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their Pretty sure DK Metcalf has more than that yardage, though, because he's caught a few other balls since. Sits there. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, come on, baby. We're in the third quarter of the NFC title game. This is second and ten. Going from Metcalf on the deep ball. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. I had the fuck with him. DK Metcalf. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Seahawks get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. 75. He's all like, gosh, damn. Oof. Heineke, I dare you to throw another interception. Come on, baby. All right, there he goes. Six interceptions, only 68 yards thrown. It's pretty sad. This game is embarrassing, really, for the Bucks. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers, they've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> damn it. Damn it, damn it. It would have been nice to get that one. 
snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Working out of the gun. Here's Heineke. And now here's another interception. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Yes, folks, that is his third interception. And I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball hawking safety. I love the way that you call for the shot there. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A seven yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Extra point up and three. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. That's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnover. Is a turnover on the last drive. They had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football. No more turnovers. And see how that works. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far. Here we go. Let's go. One last quarter to go. that ball stand. It was wobbling all over the place. this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is 
for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a contra, you would have had plenty of solid minutes in this one. And they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. 11 yards there, just like last play. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Great he's throw complete there to Johnson. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. To the air again, Heineke. And my goodness. Hey, Jackson Hill with an interception. Hell yeah. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catcher was a Just so we are not, you know, losing in the rushing game here. Where is the, uh, I wonder where the Super Bowl is. Is it in, uh, in Florida? Miami? I think this year it's going to be. Maybe not. I can't remember. I don't know where it's at. Guess we'll find out, huh? remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Back 
Back to Walker on first down. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the play. You toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. That one looks like he'll throw here. And the mark behind him, incomplete. Oh, huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I'll think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. Well, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. Almost. About 45 seconds left. Let's do this and we're going to run it in, baby. What am I doing? No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I knew what I was trying to do. <laughs> No, 11 seconds. Fuck it. Let's just let's just run it out. Let's just run it out. Fuck it. Whatever. Hundred and ten slash hundred and eleven. Crazy. Crazy people. Incredible game. the Super Bowl, baby. Seventy-one point four passer rating. Eh, it's not bad, right? It's not bad. Could be better. Although all these people were upgrading, man. Here it is. Here it is. It's a moment of truth. We're going to the Pro Bowl. Let's see who happens to be in the Pro Bowl. Will Russell Wilson be in the Pro Bowl? So here it is. Look. Ta-da. Here it is. We're advancing to the Super Bowl against the Raiders. Weird, huh? Absolutely odd. Let's look at the Pro Bowl roster. I always was excited to see this. So, it looks like no. Russell Wilson is not in the Pro Bowl. Wow. It just it seems like as soon as he left the the Seahawks, everything for him just went down the fucking drain. We have Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, um Justin Herbert. I had to think what his name was for me. Taylor Heineke, really? It's so weird. Baker Mayfield, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is the third string quarterback, in a way, if you think about it, for the Pro Bowl. Jonathan Taylor's in there. That's halfback one. I like that. 
Let's just see if there's any. Is Tyler Lockett in there? Wow, no. Kendrick Bourne is in there. Anybody? Gerald Everett. Okay. Interesting. Uh, right there, a tight end from the Broncos. Akwagbanam. I can't pronounce that dude's name. I'm not even going to bother. Quentin Nelson is in there. Okay. Who else? It's odd that Jadavian Clowney is still a thing. Like, he had all. He was in this spot where he was like so many injuries back to back to back and no one wanted to give him a chance. And now all of a sudden he's doing what well, seems like a decent job in Cleveland. So there's that. Um, not really seeing anybody. Patrick Sertang is in there. Okay, Stingley made it. Nice. Like to see that. Good for him. Uh, who else? That's it, really. Okay, so it's it's not bad. It's not bad of a a, a roster here. Weekly awards. Our last weekly awards. Nine receptions, three hundred ninety-three yards, seven touchdowns. Uh, Hamilton, five tackles, three interceptions, and two touchdowns. Cool. I like it. Gonna upgrade our players. Bo Melton. Still have him. Such a good piece to have. I kind of want to use him over Eskridge. So we'll see if we can do that. All right, we're going to go to the news. Nothing there. Still all of our stats. Proud of it. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Yearly awards. You know we got to check this out. Who's on here? Bryce Young, DK Metcalf, and uh, Kenneth Walker III have all... Who else? We got anybody else? That's it. Three of our boys made it for... What is this? MVP. The annual awards. Bryce Young, first year. I know I keep saying second year, but again, you got to watch our videos in the past on this about this series to explain why they keep saying second year. It's a, it's a completely different player. We just switched him up to look in a way kind of like Bryce Young. Um, and then DK Metcalf is coming in at number two. And then you have Kenneth Walker the third at number four. But all these people are MVPs. That's awesome. Coach of the year. Right there. It's our buddy, the Seahawks, John Glidwell. 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 So that's awesome. Awesome to see. Who else we got? That's it. Just MVP and Coach of the Year. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So the next thing. Upgrade. Nope. We're not going here. We don't need that. This is where we want to go. Here we go. I'm going to upgrade our players one more time. And then any news right here. Bryce Young's Seahawks fight Raiders for Lombardi Trophy. It says Seahawks QB Bryce Young wins the MVP. Glidell named Coach of the Year. Stud CB Sauce Gardner earns NFC Defensive Player of the Year. That's awesome, man. AFC Defensive Player of the Year goes to... R.E. Von Miller. Okay. Uh, D.K. Metcalf is your 2023 NFC Offensive Player of the Year. Dude, hell yeah. Steelers' Najee Harris takes home AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Stud C.B. Lance Kincaid earns NFC Defensive Rookie of the Year. Okay, so thought it might have been Kobe Bryant or something like that, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, other than that, nothing else, but... We got one, two, three, four of our boys are on there right now. That's really cool to see. We did we did a lot. We busted our tail. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end the video here. And uh, when you see this next series, you're gonna see the the 
beginning of the Super Bowl and the ending of season two of this. And then we're going to go start jumping in on season three. For those of you that have been watching this video or this series, I appreciate it. It means a lot. I'm really loopy right now. That's fine. But I'm going to end it here before it gets too crazy. Take care of yourselves, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Go Hawks.